I don't he even actually did that. So me and Minley were on camera for like 10 minutes talking about a bunch of interesting stuff. Go watch the VOD. I don't even have anything to say <laughs> about that one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it was fine. I didn't know that we was the reason. <laughs> yeah. Well, Life versus Terminator. We're going into Echo. This is Terminator's map choice. Let's see if he can bring it back to 1-1. It's been the trend so far here. Life just looking to kill Terminator with his typical life pressure. Yep, we're going into Echo. Two-player map. And we're going to jump into it right here, right now. Game number two, Life versus Terminator. KT Roster Life, Lee Sung Hyun versus Gene Air Green Wings, Terminator, Ha Ji Sang. Down here in the bottom right in the purple, our Zerg player, the best Zerg in the world, it is life. His opponent spawned across the way here on Echo is Terminator. Once again, sponsored by Ole Giga Internet. That's KT, for you guys who are not aware. You're like, that's KT. Everyone's like, what? How is that KT? Like? <laughs> it's like, that's Ole. It's not KT. Um, Same thing, guys. Yeah, it's it's a it's a branding thing in Korea. Um, if I'm not mistaken, oh, hold that thought. We're gonna have a nine pool. I expected to see us at least once, and this is probably oh, the yeah. best map for it. Um, I think KT used to be called Any Call. It was like their original branding now. Now they're yeah. Ole. Uh, so it was like an Any Call StarCraft team. Anyway, I'm not gonna get too into the StarCraft <laughs> One history. I don't. I, I'm like the StarCraft historian, but I don't. I don't go StarCraft One. I don't go that far back. I like can't list all the dragons, so like I'm not gonna do that. Like, well, he was technically a dragon for a brief time, but then he was, I'm like, no, 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 I don't know. I don't, I don't have the list of bone draws like on my. There's a Wikipedia page for that, I'm sure. <laughs> so it's gonna link it to us. It's gonna be a, a a gate opening here, at you know like I think it was like a 13 or 14 gate, so kind of late later gate, pretty normal timing though. Yeah. The uh, important thing is that he gets it up on the top of the ramp. Yeah, so he can hold this, um, but on this map, like you're gonna get the links across a little bit faster than on, say, like even uh, like the map we just saw, Expedition Lost. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a two-player map. Cactus Valley. The Cactus Valley, you know, definitely much faster than that. So this probe is gonna come over here and see this, and he's gonna have some time to react. He's gonna be able to know, like, oh, okay, I have to Chrono Boost my Zealot and whatnot. Um, and you know what? As soon as he comes in here, he turns it around. He's like not even going to make that nexus. He like makes a second pile on, <laughs> uh, which he's definitely going to need in order to continue pro production as uh, as the Zealot starts. The Zealot's going to supply block him. Yeah. Once that pile on finishes up, he should be fine. There goes the Cybernetics core. And yeah, he's going to be totally fine. Kind of just delays the nexus. And that's about it. Terminator keeping this probe around. Gonna try to be annoying, maybe force those links to come back, and deal with it. I mean, the links are gonna like come over here and scratch, and then every time the link gets weakened by the zealots, gonna move back. Looks like he's not even gonna mess around with that. He's just gonna try to bait the zealot out. Oh, nice swipe there, grab the one. Who would never expect life to lose a link like this? Those he keeps a probe here just in case the links try to do like a run by. Yeah. The second the links leave, the probe goes back to work. Um, we have now. Three zealots, or we're up to three. We're going up to three zealots if the third one doesn't get canceled. I wouldn't be surprised if he cancels that. Starts a stalker. Important scout from Terminator. He sees no gas yet, and ah, uh, doesn't get to block the hatch though. Yeah. We'll see it though. He'll be like, okay, you're transitioning. That's fine. Two zealots out. We're gonna push back life. So yeah, this basically gets no damage done. Actually, it actually does get no damage done. I mean, no physical. Like, Literally. Not figured. Unequival <laughs> unequivocally, like, um, no, but it, it, it does get, like, some, uh, you know, it slows the Nexus down, but it doesn't get any physical damage done. Like, you're not going to see that on a unit's lost tab, like what is done here. Uh, which is why I actually feel like, um, again, and I've been saying this for years, I would love to see a min total minerals or total resources mined tab. Yeah. Uh, that would, that is, like, something that could sh give such a great, I mean, if you look at uh, another totally uh, 
unrelated esport that I know a lot of. There's a huge overlap of fans of League of Legends. Like the gold at the top that's shown is like yeah. the very similar, very similar concept, right? How much total gold has the team gotten for the entire match? How much total minerals have been mined? I think that's like a really important stat. It is really important. Like really that actually is. just and shows it, it you like be in the game. it shows you how much longer a base has been up than somebody else's like at a glance. I, I just feel like it should. It's something that could be added and would add a lot to the spectator client. But I think they'll put it in eventually. Something that they're listening to the cast. It's something that somebody like you know third party people could put in like uh, Ryan Shutter, who now works at Blizzard, and made Game Heart, and Ooh. also made these stronger colors that we're looking at right now. Anyway, um, enough ranting about that. It's not like the it's not like the thing that Wolf wants most in Legacy or anything like that. It's just <laughs> it's something I think would be cool to have. All I'm saying. Stargate's almost finished. Yeah. Funny that Terminator kind of forced on one base for a bit. He just puts down two gas and goes for Stargate pretty fast. Yeah, and I think Life has actually no idea. He doesn't even have any overlords nearby. Yeah, he's got one overlord to the right oh, side of me. There's one at the third base, I guess. Yeah. Um, this is just going to be an oracle that allows him to take a third really easily. Bread and butter frost build. That Ling wanted to see so bad. I'm just going to have to wait till Christmas. <laughs> it's not Christmas yet. Not for a while. We're going into summer over here. It's getting hot. No peaking. Yeah, it's <laughs> really hot in Korea, man. Oh, my God. All right. This is a nice little bit of pressure. Ling's out of position, and this might even just go down. Three Zealots do a lot of damage if they're so, not running away. Also, the Oracle's across the map at the same time. He didn't cancel, so... He's going to need to save it. I don't Actually, think there's I, any way he saves There's this. literally no way to save it. Also, if he sends his queen across, he's not going to have any anti-air here. He doesn't have any spore crawlers here, but he's totally blind. Like you said, he had no idea. Oh, my Base God. Base goes down. GG. GG. What? Okay, I mean, he was pretty ahead, but whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, Terminator wins game number two. Interesting little win there. I think that was a pretty... I was like an Aether GG, man. Well, I mean, the, the Oracle was going to get a ton more kills. Third base is so late and dead. Yeah. And his early pool did, like you said, literally no damage. <laughs> he just, like, didn't want to play that out. I mean, he would have been very far behind.